What's up guys? Today we are, I'm going to show you the differences between the ECU that I have on the Eclipse and the new ECU so you understand why I'm replacing it. So first thing you gotta know is this is a AM of course it's a piggyback ECU a AM FIC fuel ignition controller. It needs to have the OEM ECU in the car and this is going to piggyback on that ECU, change the signals, and then send to the elements, in this case fuel and the injector, so it's going to mess with timing and fuel. That, on the other hand, is a Speedwino uh, ECU, which Mega Squirt is a Speedwino, uh, Speedwino is a Speedwino, Speed EFI is a sort of Speedwino, so all of them have an Arduino inside it, and pretty much an open source code takes care of whatever uh, is delivered in there. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that later but uh, being a developer I mean it, the ECU is nothing more uh, than a little computer right and then it, it knows if I receive this change to that and do something else and then send back to that sensor or receive that sensor translate something and send back to somewhere else calculate this with something else so all of this is done a bunch of smart people put together a bunch of code and this code does what the ECU does I know it works because I put on that car which is my BMW with a 2JZ engine and is being controlled by one of those things in there and that's why that's the reason why I'm putting in the car because I have it uh, without having a lot of experience I got experience and it works there so I want the same to happen here all right so basically the piggyback ECU works like this you have all your wiring that goes to the ECU this is the ECU right here uh, it might be a little blurry but there's a bunch of wiring coming from the ECU and going to the car everywhere um, some of this wiring we need to send here because this is you need to understand if there is a knock uh, what is the temperature and so on but you can't change any of those things the only thing you can change here is timing and fuel right uh, you can change like um, add some timing on when the engine is cold so it revs a little higher um, or idles a little higher right on 1500 rpm for 10 seconds for a minute so you don't you can't do that here here is only going to be the ECU says inject uh, volumetric efficiency le table let's say inject 30 30 right and that's the value on that table uh, when you are uh, at 2000 rpm 30 kPa right so it's it's a point on the table you have a value so it has in here and that says do that right so this is going to say send to the injector 30 the injector is going to receive 30 but we cut the wire from the injector and plug on the input here and on the output goes to the injector so the input here the output here goes to the injector today we cut it put the in in, in here and then the out goes to the injector. This here, <laughs> look at my cat. This here is going to change to whatever I want. So going to the software, I say add 10% more, right? Because I changed the injectors to a thousand cc's, which is five times bigger than whatever it was there. So this here is gonna change to whatever I want and send to the injector. Same thing to the timing. So um, we cut the ignition wiring and then put in here and from here to the actual ignition so we can control all of that the bad part the bad part of this is um, you the software not good um, it's super hard I mean it's not hard it's a table right but you can't see like 3d you don't have any multiplier it's it's all like very raw and the worst problem is the table it has percentage so you don't know what value is in there I don't know what value is on the ECU right could be 30 could be 50 it's a value that was working with a uh, I don't remember the, the injectors here but let's say 250 right <clears throat> 
250 cc's and now I have a thousand which is four times bigger um, but not necessarily you gotta add four times less gas or take four times less what happens is pretty hard to dial with a uh, I'm going to show you in a little bit, but the table is all negative, like minus 50, minus 74. And, and then every time you go change, if you want to add, you've got to reduce the value because it's all negative. So, you know, minus one is bigger than minus 70. So when you do have minus 70, you got to put minus 69, minus 68 to add more gas. It's super confusing, right? It'll work, made the car start but was never able to dial it properly because there's another thing you need to plug the OBD and with the OBD you need to see how much the ECU is adding or removing correcting the gas with the AFR that's happening according to whatever we have here so we need to build tables to lie to the ECU that everything is normal right the AFR is what they expect yeah, the pressure is what they expect and so on. So this is how this works this year. It is Speedy EFI. You can go to speedyefi.com. I highly recommend this thing here. Um, and I have no ties with them apart from business deals that I've done with that car. I bought one and put it in there. Now I bought another one to put it in here. Um, it had very good support. I think this is very important. Any product you buy, I guess, if you don't have support or when you have a problem, they turn it back to you. I think that's what uh, makes the products bad. Uh, not necessarily if you have a problem, but they were very attentive and they fixed your issue as fast as they could. I think this makes a product like something that's attractive to me. So, anyway, this here uh, works like a real ECU, so we can throw that away. I'm going to disconnect all of this like this, right? Take all apart. Now I'm going to cut all this wiring and all the wiring I have, I'm going to start connecting in here. It's nothing like very hard, you know, so you have uh, four inputs. Um, you can do batch fire, you can do a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to uh, teach you how to do this right now, but I'm just going to show you, tell you what's the difference, why I'm replacing. Uh, here I can, um, I have multiple things that I've learned from that car. You can make an AFR table, uh, which is your AFR target. So at 200 kPa, which is max boost, right, that I, I wanted to reach, probably 240, but let's say 200 kPa, 5000 RPM, I want my AFR to be 10.3, right, 10.7. Um, so you make this table and put it in there and yeah, the, there's a software called Tuner Studio, which I also recommend you use with this here and that's golden. It's super easy to use, um, it helps you, you, you get the logs, because you need logs, um, and the logs are going to tell you what's wrong, what is the AFR and all that stuff, and the logs have something that is analyzed, and, and again, being a developer, I think this is fantastic, it's just a bunch of math. Uh, you click that button and that button analyze all your logs and see on that RPM, on that KPA, which is PSI, uh, it tells you what is the AFR you had in there and looking at your target, it knows how much gas it needs to add or needs to remove. Um, this is fantastic. I like using fantastic. And apart from that, you have a lot of little things like um what is the warm-up enrichment so you can enrich a little bit gas put a little bit more gas while the car warms up and it's under uh so this is american fahrenheit it's less than 100 degrees fahrenheit right or 120 i don't know uh you have acceleration enrichment so if you floor it too quick it knows that you are ready to race. So there's a bunch of air coming in quickly. It's gonna put more gas, so you can decide that too. And you, you can adjust as, as you want. There is an auto-tune thing that you can just drive around and it's gonna get your target AFR and it's gonna keep adjusting your table and then you just smooth it out. 
So I'm going to show you. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is the reason why I'm replacing to this here. Uh, the price is around like 300 bucks, 350 dollars with a eight feet wire, uh, wire, um, yeah, wire, wire uh, harness, right? Um, and which is enough for me to go over under here and inside the firewall and all that stuff. Um, I guess the way I learned that in there, I can apply in here and that's gonna work the same. The same thing I tried to apply, the first thing I did was, okay, I learned that one and because I didn't need to deal with the ECU, I thought it would be easier to learn and actually was. Uh, thanks for my friend Nick from Florida that helped me out, helped me understand uh, what should I do, when should I do, what was happening and I think that was key for me. Uh, Drifty guys also helped me uh, create some tables, but uh, who really taught me what to do was my friend Nikki from Florida. So thanks, but also um, DC works. D C W E R K. No, there's no K. Uh, X at the end. W E R X. Uh, I'm gonna put something right in here. Uh, that guy is awesome. He has a YouTube channel. I think he's from the some islands somewhere um, And he has a Honda and some other car an Alteza or something like that. They drive on a different side uh, And he does only Speedwina. So I've been watching his videos also and he he commented on some of my videos Which I thought was pretty cool. You know, he's like a very helpful dude. So check out his channel I'm going to probably give him more shout outs because I, I already asked him a few questions that he answered very quickly. So I really appreciate that. Uh, DC works, works, W-E-R-X. So then that's it. You know, you have help in here. Like I just had help from, from this guy. I have help from my friend that doesn't even know this. He knows Honda and some other stuff. Um, but you know, when you get onto the AEM, um, you're basically by yourself unless you get the AEM standalone ECU. Whew. So to me it's going to be a little challenging, just a little, um, since here I could make my wires from scratch. So I, I don't have anything OEM anymore. All the wiring was done by myself. You know, it's a, it's a drift car. Um, there's some stuff here I still need to tuck in, but um, you know some uh, heat stuff but um, it was sort of easy this here on the other hand I want to be sure that all the wiring that do stuff to the gauges are not dependent on the ECU I don't think um, I, I don't think anything goes to the ECU but some stuff I need to be aware, for example, um, the temperature sensor, right? I still need to run the temperature sensor to the car, so I cannot just cut and put on the ECU because the car, the dashboard, needs to know about the temperature sensor. Um, so some other things, right? Fuel, I don't think I need to worry about because it's going straight there. Fuel injectors and all that stuff. So this is what we're going to do on the next video. Um, I hope I didn't extend this video too much, but I want to explain uh, why I'm giving up on the AEM. Uh, I just think it's not worth. Uh, some people have the AEM, but dude, honestly, that thing, it cost me nothing, uh, you know, compared to like two, two grand on a halt tech and all those, those big names. Um, not talking bad about anything because I don't know them and I'm pretty sure they're good. But um, this works fine. I don't understand why not to use it. So I'm gonna show you, I can do it. I'm gonna do this quick. Um, this video, probably when I finish this video right now, I'm gonna start cutting the, the things and put everything together um, and making videos about it. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you get the um, alert when I push new videos. Share this video with someone that you know that would be interested on the Eclipse build. I have a new valve cover for the car and I have a new intercooler which is gonna uh, have piping that's gonna fit better. And then we're gonna run this car 
Now before there is no heat here in Spokane, which I'm not excited for. And that's pretty much it guys. I have new carbon fiber parts done by a very very good um, company. Uh, it's actually a friend is starting this company and he makes uh, carbon fiber parts. So he is making this part here which deletes the, the latch. I'm going to put some on my website. So also uh, now it's not going to be there but um, go check out www.carmodsgarage.com and uh, go to Eclipse Parts. Later guys. Look past my face. See status. I'm eating some McDonald's. Uh, 20 miles to go.